Good luck editing my waffle. Oh, we're starting with this one, okay. Whew. Wow. I mean, even if I didn't know this track, it would still hit me in my soul, I think. Just immediate response. Mr. Gary Bartz on saxophone. Celestial Blues, Andy Bay. Ooh. These two records, Harlem Bush Music and Juju Street Songs, were like formative in terms of, as I said, like the identity I wanted to sculpt as a saxophonist, the political consciousness that's, that's a, a factor in these albums. Mm. But it's also funky. The first time I actually met him, uh, I was in a festival, North Sea Jazz Festival in Cape Town, so the South African iteration of it. And he was really encouraging, really supportive. I can't put it into words how gassed I am that I'm going to be playing with him on stage. I mean, I'm only half joking when I say it feels rude to speak over this, this passage of music. Alabama by John Coltrane. And the first time hearing it, I already felt something transformative in the music and the message. You connect with, I guess, the specifics of the civil rights statement that John Coltrane was making after the burning, the terrorist attack on a black church in Alabama. There's a strength and a power and a resilience that comes through in the music that we'll survive this and whatever is thrown in in our paths. I mean, I know the tune, I want to work out the personnel now. Now we're in the blindfold test territory. But it's like, if you hear this tune and you're not moving, I wonder if you're like sentient from, you know, if you're spiritually alive. <laughs> You've got to move to this. Interesting, it's a monk tune, but that's definitely not the loneliest monk on piano. Swangin! Wow. I think it's a measure of the loneliest monk's compositions that, again, you just, it's the, the timeless evocation of groove and of, of danceability and of conviction and those things that mean that you have to move or you should be moving as a human being in response to it. So it's Cleveland Watkins. Oh, uh, how Cleveland embarrassing. Of uh, course. On piano. I knew this would happen with the <laughs> blindfold. Like, I know this record and these guys. I didn't think that you guys would dig into the UK jazz discography as extensively. Quite detailed work, guys. Respect. So Cleveland is immense, man. This record was, was, was amazing. I'm really embarrassed that I didn't recognize it. I know this record. Another hugely influential record. It's in my teenage years of discovering jazz for the first time and things that are communicated to you are not just the technique and the harmony and the scientific things, but the energy and the, if you like, the spirituality behind a, a record. This is Pharaoh Sanders, you know, another great master that we've lost recently. Freedom. You gotta have peace and love. Woo! Digging that hippie jazz, baby. I've never made a conscious decision, if you like, to make spiritual jazz. I'm very weary of these labels and genre terms and subgenres, etc. But just hearing Ferris Sanders for the first time, John Hicks for the first time, hearing that band, it was like, wow, how do you play? The creator has a master plan or simple grooves, but yet it effused so much energy, so much life. Um, those are the things that transformed me and I've tried to channel the same things in my own music.
so swinging. Both sonically, literally, it's just that sound, man. I'm, I don't want to get it wrong. Is it Jackie McLean? Couldn't, yeah, okay. It's that lyrical, soulful, like every single phrase is just sculpted from granite. It's killing. But it just sounds so soulful, so swinging. Wow. That whole sound, that whole sense of space, groove and, and danceability, you know, is a combination of things, as well as the sonic qualities of music produced then that stands the test of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this Diggable Planets? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Places and places, places we fly. Mm. Places we fly. Woo. Space and all the fat places we fly. I probably haven't heard this since like 96, 90, 95. Diggable Planets. It's funny how like sonics in certain verses and one liners stay in your long term memory, even though I can't rap along with every single bar. Like, this group were incredible. It's funny every time I hear like, Young bloods talking about being like hip hop jazz pioneers. I'm always struck by how long people have been experimenting and putting these two supposedly opposite genres together and being inspired. You know, Diggable Planets were quite seminal in that. I grew up in the hip hop generation, but also heavily influenced, as were the rappers and the MCs at the time and the producers at the time, by straight ahead jazz. I mean, low end theory just dropped at a point I was becoming sentient as an MC and as a producer myself. The bridge I've created, if you put it that way, is just me feeling I have to be authentic. For real, this is a nice eclectic selec selection. In fact, rewind, come again, wheel up. If you put this on in any dance, like christening, birthday, any black British occasion and you play this tune, that's what's gonna happen, just letting you know. Whew. Janet Kay's Silly Games, one of the biggest, if not the biggest lovers example of lovers rock, which is a, a particularly British iteration of reggae music that we love. I was organizing a festival a few years in a row in Birmingham where I live. So I got to invite Janet Kay to be a part of our festival and to perform and do Silly Games live. And as we were like doing the rehearsal for it, our erstwhile drummer had like studied the record, the bass player, but Janet don't take any prisoners. She literally grabbed the drumsticks and was like, sit down, man, sit down, buddy. Did the drum. She showed the guy how to play, and then she walked over to the bass player. Mia said, give me something, man. <laughs> she wasn't taking any prisoners, wasn't protecting anyone's precious feelings about it. If you're gonna play this tune, you're gonna play it right. All right, cool. <laughs> hey everyone, Terrence Blanchard here. Thanks for watching this video. If you dug it, be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots more videos coming out soon. Last note. If you want to watch some amazing concerts filmed at our venue, head over to our website and check out SF Jazz at Home. Thanks for your support and stay tuned.